In this video, we're going to take a look at the experience of an end user signing up for a membership account. A few things to note, I'm using the test credit card processor for Paid Memberships Pro. So occasionally in my system, you'll see an alert that says I have to set up a real one. But the experience will be the same whether I've set up a real one or not. So you could ignore that alert. The first model we're going to take a look at is starting as a logged in user. Currently, I am logged in using my Topher account, and that account is not a member at all. It's just a normal WordPress user. This is a nav of all of the pages that Paid Memberships Pro created for me. You can change their names and do anything you want with them, as long as you tell Paid Memberships Pro where they are. The page we're going to be looking for is called Membership Levels. And here you can see both the free one and the $10 a month one. Let's click on the free one first. It says you've selected the free membership level. This level is free so everyone can enjoy. The price for membership is $0 now. And then it says you are logged in as Topher. If you would like to use a different account for this membership, log out now. Then there's a Terms of Service which I never filled out in my admin. If I had, I would see them here now. Then I can simply click I agree, submit, and confirm. And now my Topher account is a free member. Then we can view our membership account. And it shows my memberships. And I can renew, change, cancel, view my account options, change my password, and see an invoice of when I purchased. You can also view all membership options, which simply takes me back to this, so that I could change my membership option if I wanted to. But what if I were not logged in? Here's a different browser where I'm not logged in at all. So I go again to membership levels, and I'll again choose free. So now it wants all of this information. Or I could log in if I had a new account. I'm not going to. Let's make Charlie accept my blank terms of service and submit and confirm. There. Now I have a new membership. And you can see up here I'm now logged in as Charlie. So in addition to creating a membership, it created Charlie as a user on the website. So now let's log out of Charlie. and It takes me back to here. So let's try and create Charlie again and see what happens. I'm going to choose a different email address because what I'm trying to replicate here is simply another person named Charlie, not actually the first Charlie trying a second time. And here it says, that username is taken. Please try another. And there we are. So you can see how it handles two people trying to use the same username. Now, one more thing. Let's try a paid account. There you can see my warning that says a payment gateway must be set up before payments will be processed. 
It says you have selected the $10 a month membership level. The price for membership is $10 per month. After your initial payment, your first three payments will cost $5. That's because I made a discount earlier. So let's make a new username. And then it wants billing information because we're going to be processing a credit card. And here we can put in a card number. Now, because we're in test mode, we can use a fake card number. And let me show you how to find one of those. An easy way is to search for Stripe Test Cards. And right here is a list of credit cards that you can test with anytime you want. They're fake cards, but they're known to be fake cards, so they're not going to set off any alarms at Visa or anything like that. So I'm going to copy this one, paste it here, and you can use any future date. So simply incrementing the year always works, and any CVV works. Then I agree to the terms of service, and there we are. Now, because I made a financial transaction, I actually have an invoice number. It shows how I paid and total billed. Now, if I view my membership account, you can see that I can renew, change, and cancel, just like before. And then here's past invoices. And the past invoices actually matter more to people who have paid money. So that's the experience of creating an account and then viewing your own membership account. It's not very complicated and yet still allows the end user to have a certain level of control as far as canceling their account or changing it to anything they want.